Hey guys, welcome back to Sam's Food Chronicles and today we are going to be doing a recipe reaction. Yeah! Without further ado, let's get into it. What it does. Alright, so first things first with jerk chicken. Chicken, thighs, drums, and wings tend to play best with the heat of the grill, but breasts are still totally viable, so long as there's skin on and bone in, which is why I like to break down a whole bird. Next, and perhaps just as importantly, we gotta talk marinade. I wanted to start by making as traditional a recipe as I could find, which generally starts off with a mortar and- What's, what, what's, what's going on right here? <laughs> it's mortar and pestle. But I like it. I feel it's like- huge. Yeah. But I really like the ceramic ones. I think they're more durable and- Yeah. Heavy duty than the wooden versions. Yeah, I like it so far. It has a more of a rustic feel because when you beat the mm -hmm. seasoning, it's different from when you blend it in a blender. Yeah, it gives a different flavor for sure because yeah. the blender I think adds a little bit more air to it. Um, but that's what most people have access to in Jamaica. Right, right, it's not right. a part of our culture to use mortar and pestle. Not anymore. It used to be. One and a half tablespoons of whole oh, allspice berries and whole allspice, aka pimento, peppercorns, until they're in small enough pieces that they won't black peppercorns. Tea. And we're letting four right, large cloves of garlic naturally slide off the palm of our hand, and adding four or five sprigs worth of fresh picked thyme leaves, about a tablespoon and a half. Then we got three or four fresh scallions that we're gonna roughly chop for easier right. processing. And then it's time to glove up because we need to start playing with our Scotch bonnets. These are a little hard to find and very similar to habaneros, so you can use. Yeah, I can attest to that. Good scotch bonnet is hard to find in the States. I had a rude awakening in my last trip and I was just like, yeah, habanero, woohoo, and scotch bonnet. It tasted like sweet pepper. It was, mm. it had no kick whatsoever. It mm. didn't have the aroma of, uh, of a Jamaican scotchy. scotch bonnet. I was so disappointed. I was shocked. I was just like, in another world. <laughs> so It was heartbreaking. So what do you do in that case then? You just got to use... The, you know, the next best thing he tried. Which is habanero? Yeah, it's like a class or a genus or however the scientists classify these peppers. They <laughs> have so many names. You guys gotta do what you gotta do. Habaneros, if you want, they just have a slightly more bitter flavor. Either way, they're both super hot, so exercise prophylactic measures like gloves and glasses, especially if you're doing this in a mortar and pestle because it could squirt you in the eye and you would, of course, die immediately. Now, so that together until it is a chunky paste, one that we can slather onto our awaiting chicken, tossing it together and trying to rub it underneath the skin as much as possible. Then come. I like this because um, it, it, it reminds you of the question, should jerk marinade have soy sauce or oh, any yeah. browning, any liquid at all versus how he has it here which is just focusing on the spices. Someone someone mm. on my Instagram said we shouldn't have soy sauce in there because that's, that's Chinese. Right, right, right. But I think the soy sauce gives it the color. It helps. It helps to get that the darker color which is, if you noticed in the beginning of the video that's the first thing I said, it doesn't look like jerk chicken and it's yeah. because I'm realizing now he didn't put any kind of browning or soy sauce in there. All y'all haters out there, soy sauce and jerk chicken is a bomb. Right? I like it. I know a lot of Jamaicans do it that way. Yeah. So uh, that's interesting. I wonder who started that trend, like where it stemmed from, you know? Out of many one people, that's where it stemmed from. Yeah. My philosophy is if it tastes good, do it. <laughs> It's fine. Refrigerating for at least four hours and up to 24. Now for comparison, I also wanted to try some of the more popular recipes. Marinades, the longer the better. By the way, did he add salt? He must have added salt. I didn't, we just probably didn't, I didn't see, see that catch he added that salt. Saw there on the internet. Most of these start with half a small, roughly chopped onion, the same four or five cloves of garlic. Okay, so now he's doing different versions. Thyme leaves, Let's see what and then some goes. rather interesting additions, like three tablespoons of dark brown sugar. Then, alarmingly, a lot of these recipes call for pre-ground allspice, or even five spice powder. The green and white parts of the <laughs> roughly chopped scallions. <laughs> what? Okay, I would I would Five I spice in jerk chicken? Heck no. I think, I think it would it, it would kind of vary away too much from that just smoky mm. pimento flavor that we're looking for. I'm not going to knock somebody for doing that for their personal recipe at right, home. Right, 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 right. But to give out a recipe for like, to represent like what a, Jama a typical jerk chicken tastes like, I would avoid using five spice. Yeah. Authentic jerk, 100%. It's all about, to me, pimento, scallion. Um, scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet. Those are the key flavors. Yeah, the key flavors. And um, then the addition of smoke. Right. And then the addition of smoke. Yeah. So so you have a core jerk. And the ginger. He didn't put ginger. I hate ginger. No! I, jerk. I love ginger. Never. What are you talking about? Never. Ginger, no. no. Ginger doesn't go in jerk. But, but, but. That's like the 
the basic, like the, the holy grail or the tryout of Jamaican seasoning. Ginger, <laughs> scotch bonnet, onion, garlic. No, that to me is where you're going too Asian now, when you get ginger in there. No, ginger gives it that, I know, that nice round quick, a little, that little kick, that spice. If you like ginger in your jerk, hit that like button. Juice of three limes, which is going to help flavor and tenderize the chicken. And the one I'm most curious three about limes. Cup wow. of dark soy sauce. This is obviously going to bring a lot of flavor, but also help with the color. Now we're going to process that together just before we remember that we forgot some stuff. A couple tablespoons of a new... He has the same um, food processor as you do. Yes, this is a really good food processor, by Check the way. Check it, link in the description. Lifesaver. I'm selling hard. It's an affiliate link. I don't care. We need that money. Do it. <laughs> flavored oil like canola or vegetable, a few twists of freshly ground black pepper, and of course the scotch bonnets. Duh. After narrowly avoiding ruining our marinade, we're going to pulse that together until it is a pretty smooth paste. Give it a taste for seasoning. Don't forget a solid tablespoon of kosher salt. Go ahead and dump it over the chicken and massage to incorporate. Likewise, before marinating overnight in the fridge. I would put a little bit more salt. He said one teaspoon or one tablespoon? I think he said one teaspoon of kosher one salt. Teaspoon. I think you need a little more salt for yeah, a whole chicken. For a whole chicken, you definitely need yeah, more salt. Yeah, when you want the good jerk, it half of the hike. Definitely. The need salt, salt. has reached the bone. Especially if you're doing kosher salt because it's less salty than yeah. sea salt or whatever. Yeah, than regular table yeah. salt. Um, yeah, that's that's gonna taste pretty fresh. That's how the well, Americans like it, though. And yeah, and Jamaicans love, we love <laughs> our Jamaican. salt here. <laughs> uh, we love flavor, lots yeah. of rich flavor down to the bone where you can chew on the bone because. Jamaicans like to chew on, a lot of Jamaicans like to chew on bones, so... And a lot of dentists like when you chew on bones. <laughs> <laughs> Broke up the okay. teeth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like the more liquidy form factor of this marinade, but I'm not sure about the flavors. So let's see how they stack up after a stint on the Traeger. On the left, we've got our traditional marinade and on the right, our newfangled food processor version. And while the newfangled version has much better color from the soy sauce and sugar, its flavors got see? nothing on the traditional stuff. The soy sauce kind of drowns out all the other flavors and the pre-ground allspice lacks the florality and Szechuan peppercorn-like tingliness of the freshly ground stuff. But the only problem to tackle then is color, which if you want to stick with the fully traditional version is easily fix with a little bit of oil. This helps brown the chicken much more nicely in the convection heat of the Traeger grill. Same marinade, a little bit of oil in the one on the right, market improvement. And it's every bit as a Still not, still not satisfied. All Jamaicans would be like, oh, why, did, why did chicken so white? <laughs> That's funny. So, okay, I think you could, you could tackle that issue with not tasting the pimento by just adding more, just upping the pimento flavor more and right. smoking over pimento wood, right. which is an advantage we have here in Jamaica. We have access to pimento leaves and pimento wood, which Neither. would impart that strong pimento berry flavor that we, that we love with jerk. Also, yeah. so yeah, but the color, we definitely like it to have a nice dark color. Um, in Jamaica, we use this thing called browning. It's just like a liquid, a mixture with um, molasses mixed with a little bit of sugar to give it that nice dark caramel all right so babish if you're watching get yourself a bottle of browning use less soy sauce up your pimento and get some pimento leaves yeah. well, we'll see we haven't reached the grilling part yet we don't know what he's going to do for the grilling yeah Man. and then there are some jamaicans here some jerk uh, masters here that put the scallions in the flesh of the chicken so when you bite into it there's like this surprise of stuffing of scallions yeah. wow it's so it's really really something else it's delicious to bite into that now I want to sort of hybridize the two recipes so that we end up with something that's the best of both worlds. We're going to start by processing together our whole allspice berries and black peppercorns. You can do this in either a mortar and pestle, a spice grinder, or a pepper grinder. And then we're going to switch over to the food processor and you'll notice that I have six red scotch bonnets. I like the color of the red peppers. It likes the color but it doesn't understand. The green ones have the flavor. Yeah. The green and the, the, green yellow, and the ones. yellow ones yeah. have that, that floral flavor that we're going for. The red the ones red just ones. taste <laughs> weird. I don't know, like arsenic maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it just has a weird, yeah, very strange flavor. That's, at least, that's our, that's our personal take. And we're right. <laughs> and ain't nobody got time for no more than pistol in America. Just blend everything together. <laughs> Which brings us to our final question, the smoke. Real jerk chicken is smoked over pimento wood. Very difficult to come up with. So it's bad, bad, bad. <laughs> fruit wood like apple or cherry, both of which and many more are available. Oh it my, is hard. What the heck? It is hard. It's the hard, man was hard. like, the best thing to do is pimento wood, and then he brings out apple wood. What the heck? It is hard. Well, my mom says you could use corn husk. 
Yeah, but come to on, it, man. To give it a why, w- why don't you guys have to maintain in America? You guys have everything think, over there. I, I think it grows in warm weather. Okay. I think it's it's possibly that there's possibility that it's a warm weather tree. Okay. I don't know. Um, there was this company that this company that were doing um, pimento briquettes. Yes. I yes. don't know where I can probably find them and, and link them below, but they're supposed to start exporting out to the US. That would be amazing if they could yes. if they could um, yes. restart that whole process. Yeah, it was these little small little briquettes like Pimento this. Pimento leaves grown it up. Yeah. Into pellets that you can use in your grill. Yeah, just throw it on the coals and get that flavor. Yeah. For Traeger's pellet grills. Speaking of which, it's finally time to get smoking. You could just bake this chicken in your oven, but just like barbecue made in your oven, it's just not gonna not have same. real flavor. No. And unlike Wait, a Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. But we just did a video about you doing jerk chicken in the oven. Yeah, but we got the smoke. Because that's the, the missing factor. Right, right. Oh, oh, you mean like if you didn't do it the way you did it. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. Right. So, so will you, you go on record, Samantha, and say jerk chicken cannot be done in an oven? No, jerk chicken can be done in an oven, providing that you're willing to smoke up your house. <laughs> <laughs> smoke up your oven. All right controllable even at high temperatures and it's technically a convection oven so it's going to brown our chicken skin that smoke? while keeping the meat wow. moist and tender you can even use a meat probe which i'm going to insert in the thickest this grill this very fancy grill is definitely like a cook cook like a proper cook cook <laughs> it's like a sous tool. chef yeah this is not for the like regular like yeah. person that can't but ka-ching ka-ching definitely part of the breast, plopping these guys on the grill Fancy. and setting an alarm for 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Close it up and do not open it. Optionally, once the chicken hits 145, I like to give it a flip to brown mm, the skin. That Just looks pretty good. Over Very juicy. A few more minutes until the breasts register 155 and the dark meat registers about 175. Once those temperatures are hit, it's time to pull them off and admire that beautiful burnished color that can only come from a real smoker. Let them rest for about 10 minutes before digging in and don't even think about pulling out this temperature probe until then. Then all there is left to do is plate up with a Big pile of our rice and peas. Mm. You... What do you think, Samantha? I think it's a valiant pass. Rice and peas need gravy. Needs gravy, gravy for yeah. sure. And then you can do your scotch bonnet relish on the side. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For our crunchy, salty fried plantains. Mm. Plantains and juicy plants. They're very, very spicy chicken. Everything on this plate is going to love a little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice and some scallions for garnish. And there you have it jerk oh, chicken yeah, with yeah. plantains, rice, and peas. A thing of absolute, unparalleled spicy beauty. Squeeze a little bit of lime juice over top of everything and dig in. And this stuff is outrageous, mostly because of the smoke that looks and pretty. because we ground our own allspice berries. I can't mm, emphasize mm, enough mm, what a difference. Mm. Starchy, crunchy plantains are a great way to cool off between mm. bites of chicken. And the Get chicken, that chicken. is juicy and spicy and whew, it's just me or is it getting hot in here? Thank you again to Traeger for sponsoring. Yeah, Jamaicans don't have the palate for like sour things like or sour on their food. That's definitely yeah. a European yeah, type yeah, of yeah. palate. So you would never see anybody squeezing lime, lime juice on their jerk chicken. Never. Yeah, you do have a fish, like fried fish, escovitch fish. But that's kind of what we're used to. Yeah. All right, good job, Babish. Yeah. No hating over here. And he did his research. Definitely, definitely did his research. Yeah. All right, don't look. All don't right, look, we're gonna look. score <laughs> Babish's effort. And uh, three, two, two one. one. What you gave it? I gave it eight. Yeah, eight. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's just for the technique and whatever. We haven't tasted it to give our, you know, but it we must, suspect it must, yeah, taste. it must taste good. Yeah. Smoke, good seasoning. All the spices, yeah, the, the freshly ground. Mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say it must taste good. The Make sure, guys, that you watch this next video. It's all about how you can get that jerk flavor in your oven. So if you don't have these fancy grills, what can you do to get an authentic jerk flavor? If you're truly desperate, <laughs> you can do it. You can do it.